Coach, let's start with the uh, backcourt first. Obviously, having Jalen back and, and Kia, uh, that group of kids, you know, you're, you're strong back there. Oh, there's no doubt. You know, our guard play is, a, is, a, is the heart of what we do. You know, they're, they're quick, they're athletic, they can score, they're aggressive, they can defend. They just, they just bring so much to the table. And I always felt on the women's side, in college, you win with the guards. You, know, you win with guards. Nice to have post players and all that. But you win championships with guards. And I'll tell you what, with those three guards coming back and the way they're playing at this level right now, you know, I feel really good about our chances. You know, they, they're, they're, you know, they just bring so much to the table. They, they play hard. They're aggressive. Uh, and, you know, it, it, uh, they've improved on their shooting. Uh, worked a lot this summer on making sure that we, uh, we got some shots up. And, you know, and we, we're, we're playing around with, uh, with some different lineups, too, you know. We're running Jay a little bit more at the point, and Kia at the two, because she gets out a little bit quicker, and some of the things we're doing. But, uh, and you know, with Coach Katz and Coach Deacon running the offense and stuff, they really, really bring something different, you know, that Princeton offense. And then, you know, Taylor Washington, the junior college kid we just brought in. So, you know, I think she's going to help us out, too. You know, we got to get some confidence in her. With She'll her, take a while. With her and Brooklyn, does Brooklyn give you a little bit? Or she can play a little bit of the backcourt as yeah, well? Yeah, Brooklyn can play the backcourt. So you don't have to rush maybe yeah. some of the younger kids? Up. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you what, I'm, I'm not worried about rushing like Jordan Alexandra from uh, Dallas. I think, you know, I think she's going to be an added fact because she can kind of play everywhere except the point. You know, she can play the, from the two all the way to the five. And uh, she's a lot like Brooklyn, but a little bit bigger. You know, she's six foot, six one. You know? You know, trying to uh, trying to get her a lot of a lot of touches and stuff in practice right now. You know, and so she'll see she'll see the court a lot. I think early on. You know, Bree. Uh, you know, you know. I, again, our hybrids are a lot better than they've been since we've gotten here. You know, we we've, we've kind of went to that end. We've got lucky on on signing some of these kids. And uh, you know, again, you're right. Dude. It's gonna take some development, and there's gonna be some inconsistency in what we do. But man, the potential is there. Well, the stall starts up front with Fields. You said you got lucky. You got pretty lucky with that freshman last year. Came in and had a really, really strong impact on the program of the team. Yeah, there's no doubt. Fields did really well last year. You know, especially at the end. I think that's why we were able to win at the end. Our team and our guards had bought into her, had confidence in her by the end of the season and stuff. So, you know, I, I, it, 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 you know to me, it, it's, a, it's a building process. You know, we still are. You know, I feel comfortable where we are, but we're still trying to incorporate the younger kids and you know Fields is just a sophomore too you know so you know she's she's had a great summer and you know we're excited about uh, her opportunity this year to, to, to really do well and you know you talk about Bree Cooper I mean she just gained 20 pounds you know we put 20 pounds of muscle on her already and the sky's the limit you know with her and then Jordan Alexandria Alexandria you know she's just a she's a true hybrid like she's not a post player she's not a guard she's six foot and, you know, freshmen are, uh, are coming along good. Alex Weeks is going to be a little project. You know, she's 6'4", still learning. She had some issues this summer with some injuries, but uh, she's back and, and working harder than she's ever probably worked in her life. Okay. Now, did this group, obviously, you're, you know, uh, you've, only, you've had some big games on the side of the bracket with uh, Little Rock and Arkansas State. And once again, those teams are going to be picked up there at the top in the preseason poll. Um, where does your development of your 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 younger post kids help in that manner? Because they that's that one thing they they, they will you know they kill you on the board sometimes. Yeah, there's no doubt. You know, and, and Little Rock had Galt. You know, I mean, and you got that guard that can just go. That was our main thing for for the for the three years we're here. We could never stop her. You know, we the one game that we did win, uh, the coach stopped her. He, he benched her. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you know she was tough, and they don't have her now. I know they're a lot younger, but yeah, you know they got some, a little bit of size. I mean they, they're six one, six two, and they're aggressive to the board. They defend and all that. But uh, you know I think with the with with the different lineups we can put together, I think we can cause some trouble for a lot of people. You know the Arkansas States and the Little Rocks are really good again this year. You know, but you know that's kind of what we we were looking at. Can we compete against those? And I think we can. We we have the last three years. You know we. We've come away with a couple of wins, but now I think we can, you know, we, we line up now and we feel that everybody in the conference is beatable, you know. Every, I think we can come in and we do what we're supposed to do and take care of our business that it, it, uh, it'll work, you know. I, the thing that's so great about this is our kids believe in it, you know. 
it, t and it takes a process. It's hard for the normal person or the regular person to realize how a kid these days has to really believe in it and want to do it and want to work at it, and these kids do. Our defense is going to be really good again this year. You know, with this new offense, it, it's going to give them more opportunities. You know, we're going to we're not going to just you know Kia and Kiki can get a shot anytime they want. We're just not going to get that shot. We're going to get the best shot, and they're cool. learning that. Which is this year is obviously a little different, no coach. And, and as you stated, the difference is they're they're you're going to be playing with expectations this year. There's no doubt about it. Even your even your competition picked you in the top three in the conference coming back. So the respect is there, but now you've got to play, learn how to play with the expectation because the expectation is you're going to be one of the top three or four programs in this conference. Yeah, there's no doubt. And you know, it's like we when we came here, our coaching staff. Uh, we were expecting expectations. I was just surprised that uh, that it wasn't there. You know, this, the, the program was like, maybe maybe there was expectation, but not what I was thinking. Like, well, they were expected to just be normal, be all right. You know, if y'all could just win a game or two. And our expectations was to win a championship from day one, you know. and I, But we were smart enough to know it was going to take some time. But now our community is kind of bought in and our media people have been awesome in, in the fact that they're they really see they really see our hard work is paying off, you know. So uh, we love it, you know. We love the fact that uh, we're expected to win, you know. We expect it to be champions. We you know, just like every other sport at this school, you know. You look at Tony Robey show and stuff. You know, when you go watch a game, you expect them to perform, you know, and they perform it. Every game I've ever been with him is performing. His expectation is to win a national championship. Ours shouldn't be any different, you know. We line up, I mean, everybody's playing five, everybody's got two hands, two feet. It's, you know, now, you know, you just got to work. You got to believe, you know, you got to, you really sometimes get lucky in what you're doing, staying healthy and all that. But uh, we have great examples around the university, you know, from our leadership and to, to the other coaches, Coach Hud. I mean, how hard he works and how he's built it. I mean, why can't we do the same? That's what I, I just can't understand why we can't, you know. And I, I think we've compiled a group of young ladies that are going to come out and fight. They're going to fight and they're going to, you know, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I, I don't know if I would enjoy playing against them. You know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a team that, that sticks together and you know, they're going to work together. They, they respond together a lot. You know, in basketball, it's chemistry. It's about team, you know. It's difficult to win with individuals. And I, I think that's what we fought the first couple of years is we had some talent, but we wasn't, our chemistry wasn't right. You know, we were having some issues to get them to play hard and all that. But we're not fighting those things. We're not coaching effort anymore. We're not coaching stuff that, uh, that we have to spend so much time. We're getting to coach some basketball with some talent, you know. And with grit, you know, it's like, they said that, I read that the other day, you know, grit is important, you know, grit is not talent, it's not title, it's not good looks, it's something inside grit, of you. Grit is, grit is effort, coach. It's effort, you know, and we're not having to do it because they have it, you know, they, they've always had it, they just, you know, it's just, you know, sometimes when you come in, it, it was too hard for them, you know, we were working them too hard. Now, man, coach, this is easy. You know, I have some kids come in, I got to work hard on them, that's exciting, man. you know. My coach, uh, it starts this week, first exhibition. Um, you're going to have an exhibition game. Uh, talk a little bit about that and, and just uh, getting the student body to come out uh, before they get in the exams and come watch some of the, the Cajuns play ball. Well, yeah, you know, I love the exhibition games because, I mean, you, like we always say, you know, the lights come on. You know, the scrimmage is all right. You can learn some things. But our kids need to be, when we turn the lights on, have a scoreboard, have referees. Let's, let's see where we fit in, you know. And especially with the younger kids, it gives them an opportunity to kind of touch the floor and see what college uh, basketball is all about. So, yeah, it's, uh, I, I think this exhibition is going to be really good for us. You know, we're excited. We're ready to play someone else. And then the other thing is the, uh, we, we really need fans. You know, I think that's maybe the, the not the disappointing thing, but the thing that I want for our kids to so much is we want a championship, but we don't want to do it alone. Man. We, we want fans. And I know they're there. I mean, and they're on the football field. In the football stands, you know, those are the guys that, that really love Cajun athletics. And I think if they came watch us play and how hard we play, they would enjoy uh, what our program does and what it stands for and all that. You know, so we uh, we're, we're excited for the kids because I know it's going to happen. But we want our stu student body. I think that's the, the norm across the nation is the student bodies aren't getting involved as much, and we want them too. You know, I mean, I'm from here. Coach Deacon's from here. 
We've got 11 kids from Louisiana. We're going to continue to recruit Louisiana real hard. Our four commitments that we have already are from Louisiana. And so, uh, you know, we want, you know, our, our percentage of, of uh, students here is probably about 80% from Louisiana. So, man, why not come out and watch a great product, you know? And, and I, I promise you, I'll give them their money back if, if they didn't enjoy it. I, I, I think I they'll do that. I think be happy, Coach. They certainly right. have to be happy of the, you know, the growth of the program last year. Look, as always, we appreciate you giving us a few minutes. And uh, we'll catch up with you Wednesday after you get all your letters in and we'll talk about that class. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, Thank BJ. You, we appreciate you all so much. Thank you, sir. Uh, Good job, Coach.